I consider myself an artist first and foremost. My background is in painting. Creating environments, adding details, and lighting is a meditative process, but it also slows my output to a crawl, as every scene has to be production ready before I really bother scripting it. Because of this, I've been training myself to focus more on greyboxing. Greyboxing is a level design concept, a process where the basic skeleton of a level is created to test the layout. I'm really envious of creators like Dave Gilbert who can make their entire game with temporary assets and replace them as needed, but I suspect this process is similar for a lot of narrative designers and people without an artistic background. Here I'm working on a scene in my supernatural adventure game Still Ridge. The player character Omar makes a pit stop at a gas station. The exterior scene took me about two to three days to model texture and light. If I maintained this speed, it would take me weeks to create the five or so additional maps I need for this segment. This is my first attempt at some discipline in making temporary scenes for testing. I begin by importing Omar's model into the scene. He's actually a head taller than the default 2 meter cube in Blender, so I have to scale the levels around him and not shorter NPCs. I draw my maps on paper first. The tactile feeling of working with pencil and paper gets the gray matter pumping. The interior of the gas station is designed like a panopticon, and the idea is that the clerk will spy on Omar as he walks around the aisles. Here you can see me hesitate for a bit, because the overhead view in perspective looks like a message. I consider what kind of future puzzles could allow an overhead shot, like maybe the combination to a safe or a hidden word, but I decide doing so will compromise the overall design too much. The key elements here that I'm looking for is where the bathroom is going to be placed, where the manager's office, and where the back exit to the gas station is, and I don't have much wiggle room. I do miss having finished work I can show off on Screenshot Saturdays, but modeling this section and dropping it into the game took an hour at most. I need to discipline myself more to keep this up, but I do think rapid iteration is the best process for a solo developer to finish anything, especially if you also have a full-time job. I think the death of most independent projects beyond feature creep and poor planning is the hit you take to your motivation as you're crushed beneath the weight of scope. It's difficult to see the big picture, but actually making playable content and doing it fast keeps me on target. I'm going to try to post more updates every Wednesday, or maybe every other Wednesday, haven't really decided yet. But uh, yeah, subscribe to this channel and uh, click the like button, follow, subscribe, all, 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 that, all that junk that I'm supposed to say, but you know. Ch check out the game on Steam. Just, just do it. <laughs>